welcome to our youtube channel and thank you so much for always coming around to see our videos remember to click the notification bell and subscribe to this very video as we take you through the life and time of anini as he reigned supreme across the entire bendel state presently known as edo and delta Lawrence Anini was one of Nigeria's most notorious armed robbers who hid sway in old Bendel states, now Edo and Delta states. His reign in the 80s was so bloody that he was even discussed at the State Security Council meeting. Anini was born in 1960 and was executed on March 29th of 1987 following his conviction by Bini High Court for armed robbery. Anini was born in a village about 20 miles from Benin City in present-day Edo state. Anini dreadfully called the law or Ovibo migrated to Benin at an early age, learned to drive and became a skilled taxi driver. He became known in Benin Motor Park as the man who could control the varied competing interests among motor park touts and operators. He later delved into the criminal business in the city and soon became a driver and transporter of gangs, criminal godfathers and thieves. Later on, he decided to create his own gang, which include Monday, Ofege and others. They started out as car hijackers, bus robbers and bank thieves. Gradually, he extended his criminal acts to other towns and cities far north and east of Benin. The complicity of the police is believed to have triggered Anini's reign of terror in 1986. In early 1986, two members of his gang were tried and prosecuted against an early under the table agreement with the police to destroy evidence against the gang members. The incident and Anini's view of the police betrayal is believed to have given birth to what was called a retaliatory attack, an action by Anini. In August of 1986, a fatal bank robbery linked to Anini was reported in which a police officer and others were killed. The same month, two officers on duty were shot at a barricade while trying to stop Anini's car. During a span of three months, he was known to have killed nine police officers. In an operation in August of 1986, Anini's team struck at the first bank Sabongida Ora, where they cut away 2,000 naira. But although the amount stolen was seen as a chicken change, they left the scene with trail of blood. Many persons were killed. On August 6th, same year, the Anini gang snatched a Peugeot 504 car from Albert Ote the driver of an assistant inspector general of police, Christopher. In snatching the car, they killed the driver and went to hide his corpse somewhere. It was not until three months later that the skeleton of the driver was spotted 16 kilometers away from Benin, along the Benin Arbor Highway. A day after this attack, Anini, operating in a person's car believed to have been stolen, also effected the snatching of another Peugeot 504 car near the former Fideco office in Benin. Two days after, the Anini men killed two police officers in a local government area of the state still in that month. Three different robbery attacks, all pointing to Anini's involvement, took place. A day after the oppression, Anini, the law, turned to a father Christmas as he threw a naira note on the ground for free peak by market men and women at a village near Benin. Anini tossed a spearheaded a four-month reign of terror between August and December 1986. Anini also reportedly wrote in numerous letters to media houses using political tunes of Robin Hood-like words to describe his criminal acts. Worried by the steaming elusiveness of Anini and his gang members, the then military president, General Ibrahim Babangida, ordered a massive manhunt for the kingpin and his fellow robbers. The police torso went after him, combing every part of Bendel State where they were reportedly operating and living. The whole nation was gripped with fear of the robbers and their daredevil exploits. However, the police manhunt failed to stop the activities. The more they were hunted, the more intensified the activities became. Some of the locals in the area even began to tell stories of their invincibility and for a while, it felt like they were never going to be caught. However, at the conclusion of a meeting at the Armed Force Ruling Council in October of 1986, General Babangida turned to the Inspector General of Police, Etim Enyang, and asked, my friend, where is Anini? At about this time, Nigerian newspapers and journals were also publishing various reports and editorials on Anini's challenge, and for some, they tagged it The Anini Saga, The Anini Factor, Lawrence Anini, The Man, The Meat, Anini, Jack the Reaper, Lawrence Anini, a Robin Hood in Bendel. The Guardian asked emphatically in one of each reports, will they ever find Anini the law? The arrests 
Finally, it took the courage of the superintendent of police, Kayode, to bring the Anini reign of terror to an end. On December 3rd of 1986, Kayode caught Anini at number 26 Ayewosa Street, opposite Iguedela Primary School, Benin City, in company with six women. Acting on a tip-off from the locals, the police went straight to the house where Anini was hiding and apprehended him with very little resistance. Kayode led a crack 10-man team to the house, knocked on the door of the room, and Anini himself, clogged in his underpants, opened the door. Where is Anini? The police officer quickly inquired. Does that as he was caught off guard and having no escape route, Anini, all the same, tried to be smart. Oh, Anini is under the bed in the inner room. As he said, he made some move to walk past Kayode and his team. In the process, he shoved and had booted the police officer, but it was an exercise in futility. Kayode promptly reached for his gun, stepped hard on Anini's right toe, and shot at his left ankle. Anini surged forward, but the police took hold of him and put him in certain position. They then pumped a more bullet into his left leg and almost shot out his ankle from his entire leg. Already anguished by the excruciating pains, the police policeman asked him, are you Anini? And he replied, my brother, I wouldn't lie to you, I am Anini. While in the police net, Anini, who had poor command of English and could only communicate in pidgin, made a whole lot of revelations. He disclosed, for instance, that Osubo, who had then been arrested earlier, was his deputy, saying that Osubo actually shot and wounded the former police boss of the state. Anini was shot in the leg, transferred to a military hospital, and had one of his legs amputated. When Anini's hideout was searched, police recovered assorted charms, including the one that he usually wore around his neck during his operations. It was uh, instructive that after Anini was captured and the pose of his charm, the man who terrorized the whole state and who was uh, supposed to be fearless suddenly became remorseful, making confession. This was against the public expectation of a daredevil hoodlum who could remain defiant to every end. Shortly after the arrest of Anini and co, the daredevil robbers began revealing the roles played by key police officers and men in aiding and abating of criminals in Bendel State and the entire country. Anini particularly revealed that a George Iyamu, who was the most senior police officer shielding the robbers, would reveal the police secrets to them and then give them logistic support such as arm to carry out their robberies. Thank you so much for watching and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification bell for more updated or subsequent videos on this very channel.